Well, thank you so much for continuing to stay with us. But Alex, I was telling uh, Caitlin and Courtney this morning, it's like I walked out the door at three o'clock mm -hmm. and the heat was literally like, hello, yeah. how are you doing? Yeah, and the humidity, because once you get into the overnight hours, it doesn't mm -hmm. have much room to go anywhere. But yeah, it's and it was really hot this morning, it, different from other mornings. Yes, yeah, the low didn't get as low as it typically mm -hmm. does. I think it was in the mid 70s as opposed oh, to I the low 70s. I felt every bit of the seven and the zero and whatever number it was. <laughs> oh yeah, well you're gonna feel every bit of the eight and the seven right now. Lord and have those, mercy. those nines right there next to the it feels field like, line. oh yeah. man. 99 degrees Ooh. is what it feels like in Macon right now. Hopefully we'll get some rain cool there through the afternoon. Are you starting to see some showers down into Wheeler, Telfair, Montgomery counties? Those are pushing to the west, so you might catch some rain. If say if you're in parts of Wilcox County, Dooley and Chris here over the next few hours, but we'll watch central Georgia for some activity to flare up as we head through the afternoon hours today. So let's drill it down to the south and east. A few lightning strikes beginning to pop up just south of Mount Vernon as it moves towards Alamo and McRae. So we'll watch for a few thunderstorms today. Also watching a complex down in the Gulf of Mexico producing some showers along the Gulf Coast. I think that's going to stay down there. The interesting thing for us today is notice those clouds there right along the coast. The question is, does that put a cap on some of the moisture moving in here from the Atlantic? Now we do have a very small risk of a severe storm today as we do most days. It's just that we have a level one risk in effect for our eastern counties, mainly for gusty winds and perhaps some large hail in a few communities. So here's a look at future view. You saw a few afternoon showers and storms. This is five o'clock. Notice only a few showers in the area, but it is possible to get a flare up of storms and as quickly as it comes up, it goes down. So we'll be keeping an eye on that through the afternoon hours. Then once we get into tomorrow, I'm thinking a lower rain chance and then beyond into Friday an even lower rain chance. Then we get into the, the weekend, start to pick up that Atlantic moisture once again and our rain chances. They're just going to fluctuate with a chance of rain each and every day, anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. And that's going to be the story here across central Georgia. So 60% today, 30% tomorrow, and then 40 for your Friday and Saturday down to 30% for Sunday. Now I mentioned we're watching the Gulf of Mexico now up to a high chance of development in parts of the Caribbean with this cluster of thunderstorms just off the Central American coast. We'll be watching that as it moves towards the Yucatan Peninsula and the forecast is eventually for the Gulf of Mexico. And again, that's a high chance of development over on the east side of Bermuda. This cluster of thunderstorms expected to start moving towards the north watching a chance for development there. And then once we get closer to Africa, a 30% chance of development. So we'll be keeping an eye on that one. And it is the peak times of hurricane season, the peak date, September 10th. So we're coming up pretty quick on that. You can see we are due for a lot of activity here in central Georgia or in the Atlantic, not in central Georgia. 92, I think is going to be the high temperature today. It's below the average of 91. We might see some showers and storms running late in central Georgia. And here's your seven day forecast with high temperatures in the 90s for today and tomorrow. And then we'll be on the cusp of 90 from each day there on out.